It's very, very exciting news, literally uh, just uh, hot off the press, as you, as you say. Uh, uh, as with the previous vaccines, we're hearing the headline results of their efficacy by press release. Very encouraging. I mean, the first thing to say about this vaccine is that it's different. Uh, it's a much more traditional type of vaccine than the ones we've been uh, seeing up until now. It's a protein vaccine, uh, the same kind of vaccine we have already, for example, against hepatitis B, uh, where the protein is injected as the, as the vaccine. And that has turned out to be just as effective as the other newer sorts that we've uh, been seeing already. So really encouraging news. And of course, great news that we've got yet another vaccine to add to the collection we've already got. So uh, all in all, great. I think the other bit of news uh, that comes through is that there is slightly different levels of efficacy against the different strains, the variants you've been hearing about. That's not surprising, uh, but it is just a little message that we are going to see some degree of variation uh, of protection against these variants. And we're going to have to watch that very carefully and see whether vaccines will need in the future to be adjusted to, to keep up with those strains as they develop. We, we do need to see more of the results to, to really understand the full implications. Uh, the regulatory authorities were able to approve the uh, Pfizer vaccine and then the Oxford vaccine in the UK and then Moderna as well pretty rapidly, but that will take some time, I'm sure. Um, I, I suspect they're well advanced with the process already as they were with the others, uh, but I don't think that will happen immediately. Um, so yeah, so we'll, we'll see how long that takes. Um, and uh, uh, hopefully we'll have those suppliers come through uh, in the not too distant future.